Hola, clase, y bienvenidos a la lección de los verbos en el preterito. Hello, class, and welcome to today's lesson on verbs in the preterite. What is the preterite, you may ask? Well, whenever you're going to talk about things that happen in the past, you use it in Spanish. Remember the lesson on the present? And the word conjugate, well, you're going to do it again. And again, is conjugation, does it exist in English in the past tense like it does in the present? Yes. So the verb to do in the orange box there, that's the infinitive form to do. And when you conjugate it in the past, here's how it goes. I did, you did, he did, she did, it did, we did, you all did, they did. How hard is that? Not hard at all. It's literally the same form. You just change the pronoun in front of it. So is Spanish harder to learn than English in that sense? Spanish does win in the pronunciation category, though. There's only one way to say each letter in Spanish, whereas English is all over the place. Look at this English word, T-E-A-R. How do you even pronounce that? Tear, tear, some other way? It's nonsensical. Bien, just like you did in the present tense, there is a pattern for regular verbs in the preterite. If the verb ends in AR, these are the preterite endings. Repeat them after me, ready? Eh, haste, o, amos, aron. Do it again. Eh, haste, o, amos, aron. Do it again. Eh, haste, o, amos, aron. Which ones have accents? That's right, yo and el. Now, this is a little easier than the present because both ER and IR verbs have the same set of regular endings. Instead of three different endings for AR, ER, and IR, there's just the AR endings and then another set for ER and IR. Repitan. I, iste, yo, imos, yeron. One more time. I, iste, yo, imos, yeron. Where are the accents? That's right. Yo and el. So if you have the verb vivir and you want to say he lived, el vivió. What about we ate comer? is to eat, comimos, I-M-O-S. There are a few irregulars. They're verbs that change from an I to a Y, and it's E-R and I-R verbs that have a vowel in front of the E-R or the I-R. And then as an added bonus, they have accents in the tu form and the nosotros form. So creer is creí, creíste with an accent, but creyó with a Y. Creímos with an accent, but creyeron with a Y. So the L and the ellos form, the two at the bottom, get Ys. Oír has an act, I mean a vowel in front of the IR. So it also has a Y at the bottom, el form, ellos form. Oí, oíste with an accent, oyó, oímos with an accent, oyeron. Any verb that has a vowel in front of the ER or the IR does this. Bien. If the verb ends in car or gar or sar, the yo form is going to be different. Tocar, toque, Q-U-E. Pagar, pagué, G-U-E, with an accent. Empezar, empecé, C-E, with an accent. Why does this happen, you may ask? Well, look at tocar. If you don't change the C to a Q-U, then the C turns into a soft C in front of E. C in front of E is soft. It would be tosse. And you don't want that sound. You want it to stay hard. Toque. With pagar, if you don't change the G to a G-U in front of the E, then it turns into an aspirated sound. P-A-G-E with an accent would be paje or paje, but you want to keep the g sound, so you need g-u-e, 
Pagé. Rest of them are regular. And then with Sar, uh, you just don't have Z E. Z changes to C before E. Z changes to C before E. And Pese. Cargar Sar. Any verbs ending in those three endings do this. Bien. Stem changing verbs. Remember how in the present tense I've used this verb pattern that I have? The stem changing verbs like dormir would turn into, if you circled the ones that changed, it would look kind of like a shoe or a boot. Shoe verbs are boot verbs. In this case, the stems only change in the el and ellos forms, and it's only for IR verbs, so that's helpful. And it's only the IR verbs that stem change in the present, even more helpful. And then the change is just going to be I to I or O to U. So sentir, sentí, sentiste, but sintió, sentimos, but sintieron. And then dormir, dormí, dormiste, but durmió, the U, not U-E, just U. Dormimos, durmieron. And if you circled the two at the bottom, you could call it a sandal verb if you're keeping in the footwear theme or slipper. Also, in my career, I've heard teachers refer to these verbs as bagel verbs, or pancake verbs, or coffin verbs. I'm not sure about that last one, but whatever helps you remember that the stem change occurs in the two at the bottom, the el form and the ellos form, whatever works, be in. Now, let's get even more nitpicky. If a verb ends in year, or year, or nier, then this happens. Starts out normal, sabuji, sambujiste, but then sambujo, sabujimos, but then sambujeron. The two at the bottom don't have eyes, so the normal IR ending would be IO with an accent, sambujo, but that E sound is built into the double L, sambujeron. And it's also built into the inye. So you've got grunyi, gruñiste, but gruñyo doesn't have an I. Gruñimos, gruñeron doesn't have an I. Bien. And then, of course, there's some verbs that are just completely irregular. And they're usually the most common. Estar. Here's what happens. Repitan. Estuve, estuviste, estuvo, estuvimos, estuvieron. What? Where did that UV come from? Who knows? One thing that makes it a little easier to swallow here is there's no accents on any of these. And the endings are the same for all these verbs in the chart on the right. And they all do a, uh, now they almost all have a U happening except for hacer. So andar changes to andub. And then those endings in red, anduve, anduviste, anduvo, anduvimos, anduvieron. Hacer changes to is, hice, hiciste, hizo, hicimos, hicieron. Hizo, by the way, has a spelling change, H-I-Z-O, H-I-Z-O. Everything else on here does not. Poder, pude, poner, puse, querer, quise, saber, supe, tener, tuve, venir, vine. Yeah, again. There's a bunch of verbs that get a J. Decir is one of them. Dije, dijiste, dijo, dijimos, dijeron. There is no accent. And then any verb that ends in usir, U C I R, conjugates the same way. Kotuje, kotujiste, kotujo, kotujimos, kotujeron. Bien. Dar and ver. Do their thing. Di, diste, dio, vimos, dieron. Di, diste, vio, vimos, vieron. Somehow conjugate the same. And as if it couldn't get any more bizarre, ser and ir have the exact same forms. To be and to go. Isn't that crazy? So, ser, you want to say I was, you were, 
he was, we were, they were. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. If you want to say for ir, I went, you went, he went, we went, they went. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. Crazy. A ver. A ver, if you want to say there was something, and use it in the preterite, there's just one form. Hubo, H-U-B-O, hubo. Go jugar, practice these. Ser, ver, leer, etc. Bien. Did you get all these right? Fui, vieron, leyó, hice, pudo, dije, fui, di, supe, quisieron, llegamos, empecé, o de sí, oyeron, puse, fuiste, estuve, tuve, pude, trajiste, fueron, quise, viniste, toqué, with a Q-U-E in an accent, oímos, accent, durmió, with a U in an accent, sintió, jugué, G-U-E with an accent, destruyó, with a Y. Traducir verbos. Say all this in Spanish. Write it down on your sheet. I was, I was, you had, etc. Bien. Respuestas. Fui. Estuve, tuviste, él dijo. Ellos fueron, ti, supe, puse, ellos sintieron. Hubo, hice, hice, ellos quisieron. Leímos, pude, jugué, toqué, él fue, ustedes fueron, ellos fueron, ella o yo, oímos, dormí, ellos durmieron, supimos, quise, vimos, trabajamos, hiciste, pusiste. Bien, ahora vamos a usar estos símbolos de gramática, Montessori. So... The sentences you're about to deal with contain these four parts of speech. Sustantivo, triángulo negro, pronombre, triángulo morado, verbo. Círculo grande y rojo, conjunción, barra, rosada. Ready? Practicar. So write all these in Spanish and include the Montessori grammar symbol and the correct color. One believed, heard, and included. I played an instrument, paid and started. They felt and died and laughed. She dived and groaned. You fit and did and couldn't put and wanted and knew, in the sense of found out, and had. I said and you said and we said and they said. I was and went. Did you get all these right? Juan creyó y oyó e incluyó. That E in front of incluyó is because you change the conjunction and or e into the letter e in Spanish so it doesn't all run together e incluyo instead of e incluyo número dos toqué, pagué, empecé tres ellos sintieron y murieron y se rieron you get all these right ella zambulló y grunyó Cupiste, hiciste, pudiste, pusiste, quisiste, supiste, tuviste. Dije, dijiste, dijimos y ellos dijeron. Fui, fui, 